So after the homily is over, the priest or the deacon will come back here. And if it's a Sunday Mass or another important solemnity, we will pray the creed. But that usually does not happen at school Mass. But what we usually do is we pray the petitions, or what are called the intercessions sometimes, where we take the time to pray for those people that need prayers. Now, why do we do this? Well, we do this because we recognize that the most powerful prayer in the world is the Holy Mass. And that when we ask God specifically at Mass to help these people, help these countries, these people in particular situations, that he can help them through the prayers in this Mass. And so we pray for particular things during the intercessions. We usually first pray for the leaders of the church. So the Pope or the bishops of the church, that they may be able to lead the church worthily and well. We then pray for government leaders or people in local governments because they're charged with taking care of people, specifically the poor, who are in need of great help. Thirdly, we pray for any people who are in any sort of difficult situation, typically the poor or people that are under some sort of oppression. We pray for these people here. We then pray for people of our local community, so people at Stella Mars Academy. This petition is usually for them. And then lastly, we usually always pray for those who have died. So those um, dead, we recognize that um, our prayers can help those people um, as we pray for them. So after the petitions or the intercessions are over, we switch to the second main part of the Mass. As we were talking about earlier, the first main part of the Mass is the Liturgy of the Word, where the focus is on, on this, the emblem where we hear from the first reading, the second reading, the gospel, the psalm, and sometimes even the homily happens here at the anvil during the liturgy of the word. But when the petitions are over, we enter into the second main part of the Mass called the liturgy of the Eucharist. And the focus isn't on the anvil, but here, on the altar. Because what will happen here during the liturgy of the Eucharist is that bread and wine are going to be turned into Jesus' body and blood. And that happens right here at the altar. All right, so Father has been able to give us some insight on what's going on up in the altar. And now we turn again and kind of look at what we're doing here in the pews. So as we make this transition from the Liturgy of the Word to the Liturgy of the Eucharist, we sit down. And again, our posture is reminding us that uh, our hearts and our minds are taking kind of a different posture. And so we sit down, not because at this point our legs need a break, they don't, but it's to help us to be a little bit more reflective and a little bit more thoughtful. And so this first section of the Liturgy of the Eucharist is called the Offertory. And the Offertory is all about offering God something. And so as they're preparing for the Eucharist, what you will notice is that two people, two or three people, will bring up the gifts. They will bring up the bread and the wine. They will offer that to the priest and to the church. Also, you know, often on a Sunday or sometimes at our school masses, a basket will be passed through the pews and people will be donating money, donating out of the gifts that they've been given to help the church. So whether that's to help support the church they're actually sitting in or the church's ministry to the poor or to our Catholic schools. And so, so as a kid, as a student, maybe you're sitting there thinking, okay, what can I offer? I don't have a lot of money in my piggy banks. But what we're asking, and what Jesus is asking in this moment, is for you to take a moment to sit down and to ask him, Jesus, what can I give you? What can I offer you for my life? And it may not be something physical. It may be something from your mind or from your heart. And you ask Jesus, what can I give you this week? What do you want from me? And Jesus may say, I want your time. I want you to take a few more minutes every day to pray, to talk to me to read the Bible. I want your attention. Maybe you're sitting here in mass and saying, okay, Jesus, I offer you the next 25 minutes of my attention. I'm going to pay attention. I'm not gonna let my thoughts drift. I'm not gonna mess with my classmates. I'm gonna give you my attention right now and try to focus on what's happening here in the altar and here in my soul. Or maybe Jesus is asking you to give him something else, like your kindness to an individual in your life. The Holy Spirit may be poking you and prodding you to be nice to someone, to be patient to someone. It's not just 
things like that. Sometimes Jesus asks us to give him our struggles as well. So maybe you sometimes struggle with anger, whether that's towards a sibling or on your sports team when things are not going well, you just get angry. And so here in this moment of the offertory, you can say, Jesus, I give you my anger, transform it. Like you're gonna transform this bread and this wine into something awesome. I ask you to help transform my anger into something better. Or maybe it's a heartache or something you're sad about. Maybe a lost friendship or someone who's passed away. Something just hard in your life. You can offer that back to Jesus and say, I'm going to give you this. Transform it. And so during this offertory, we get to see different things happening, whether that's baskets being passed to the pews, people bringing up the bread and the wine, the altar being prepared. But also in our hearts, we take this time, we sit down and we reflect and say, what can I offer you, Jesus? Because the mass is powerful. What's going on up there, but also what's going on down here is powerful.